so heavy. I'm on the excuse me, I'm under 50. I'm not under 60. In Noah's first contest of his championship, he is in his normal self being a cautious, thoughtful judoka, where he is not taking too many risks but, and attacking consistently, but maybe not as aggressively as needed to go and get the outright win. A typical example of this is just here, where he, instead of going for full Kasatogari, he's just pushed his knee in an effort to force the opponent over. But then his opportunity does come, he wraps his leg around and in a peculiar Kasatogari takes his opponent down for a Yuko. Having had a success with that technique, he tries again, but the opponent has learned. Noah now makes an attack with Taitoshi, but it's not convincing enough. Noah, come on, Noah. As the opponent makes an attack with Kochigari, Noah counters with Kosotogari again and takes him down for another Yuko. And now he's got his opponent into a good, solid hold down. Now it is a question of counting the timeout. The referee appears to be concerned as to whether the opponent is in pain or not, but having checked this okay, he allows him to continue. Did you see that? Since Noah does have a solid hold down on, it is a bit surprising that the opponent does escape, and partly you can see it's because Noah brings his hips too far up on his opponent's body. As a result, they are now called back to standing. The hold down, nevertheless, was worse a Wazari, which means that Noah is now up one Wazari and two Yuko to nothing. It is difficult to see exactly what happens here as the referee is in the way, but it appears that Noah goes for a Taitoshi, puts the opponent on the floor for a Wazari, giving him Wazari is said to be upon the win he's after. I bet it's Noah. Noah won! 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 Noah won